Arizona. All right, we are at the Arizona Mile. It's the American flat track. It's a mile racetrack. It's a big deal. My first time actually witnessing a mile. So behind me, you're gonna see all of the racers tuners, or for lack of better terms, mechanics. It's really important for them to keep a close relationship with the rider. So the rider will test the bike, come back, tell them what they're feeling. The tuners will then make sure that bike's pristine for them. So right now, all the tuners are with the bikes, set up for the racers to come out. The racer's gonna grab the bike, bring it up on the track, do some test runs, make sure that the bike's running just the way they want. If they want any adjustments, they'll let the tuners know. They'll go back and make those adjustments for the big race. All right, so when it comes to American Flat Track, there's a couple different types of riders. You've basically got factory riders. These are guys that are sponsored by companies like Harley Davidson or Indian or Yamaha or Honda or whatever the company may be. Motorcycle manufacturing companies sponsored riders. They go out, find the riders they want, they sign a deal with them, and they become factory riders. It's obviously a huge advantage, but then the other side of the coin are the privateers. See, the privateers don't have factory backing, so they got to find sponsors like Law Tigers or other companies that'll help them with some money, and then they fund their own racing campaign. It's a serious grind, but you know what? They're doing what they love, and that's what's most important. And look who we have found, Mr. Corey Texter. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How are you guys? Man, how you feeling? Good. I'm ready to go. Yeah, it's a nice day out. It's not too hot. No wind. Should be uh, it's prime condition, so we should be good. Hey, Corey, I wonder if I could trouble you to do something before you race. I know you're probably in your zone right now, but can you show us your bike? Yeah, we got two pretty much identical bikes, but uh, this is the one we're racing today. Well, most likely racing this one. This is Brenda. Got her name tag. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Brenda. And that's Abigail. So we got two bikes. We're gonna try them both, and whichever one I feel better on, we're gonna race. But uh, most likely Brenda, I think. It's a Honda CRF 450. How many horsepower? They come stock, I think 50, and this is probably mid 60s. I don't know. Yeah, how fast would you bring that girl? Probably 125 on the straightaways. And did you say you had an ASR sticker on here? Yeah, I got two on the. I gotta find some. I gotta find somewhere better to put them, but I got two on the side. Nice. I'm stoked to get those sunglasses. We're gonna hook Mr. Texter up with some uh, ASR sunglasses. Exciting. We're gonna be his official eyewear uh, when it comes to race day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, talk about rig goals. Look at the front of this truck. It's pretty sick. All right, guys, that's it for the uh, for the pits. That's a quick inside look. And kind of just understanding how the different positions of these racers are and the struggles that each of them has uh, out here on the track. They're just now getting on the track for testing for the practice lab, so let's get some shots of that. It's crazy, you will not believe how actually fast this is. The TVs just don't do it justice. Absolutely flying. You can hear their tires squealing as they go across the uh, dirt. It's it's pretty intense. Okay, so those were the twins. Now the singles. This is where our boy Corey's at. So as they come in, these guys go out. Could you just imagine running 120 miles an hour rubbing handlebars with another racer coming around a corner on a dirt track? <laughs> Behind me you have the Indian Factory Boys and right now uh, they are the ones to beat. They are the current reigning champions from last year on the FTR. Um, I think they've won a couple years straight, haven't they, Giselle? Well, they've got a, I mean, all of them have held the title at some point. You got Brad the Bullet Baker, Flying Brian Smith, and of course, the Jammer Jared Meese, who's the number one plate holder this year, defending champ. And they're all running that FTR. Yep, I mean, it's the one to beat right now. The Indians got it right now. And set up directly behind them are the Harley Davidson boys. Now, they, uh, they got some catching up to do, but they're not quitters. Them boys there, they're Americans. All right. 
So as official Grand Marshal of the Arizona Mile, American Flat Track, I get to ride in the beginning of this whole thing with the American flag out on the track. And I just, I just want to show you all the bike I'm going to be riding. This bad boy Dino Rider has all custom built. Yes, that is one sick lowrider S, all tricked out, and it's custom bike built by Jesse Rook. And if y'all don't know Jesse Rook, I'm gonna introduce you to him right now. Very famous builder. What's going on, man? Just want to introduce the people and officially say thank you for letting me ride your bike for the uh, whole Grand Marshal lap. It's pretty rad. Of you, man. I'm excited. It'll be a good time. Yeah, man. So where do people find you on uh, online if uh, they're gonna look you up? If you want to find me, you can find me at rookcustoms.com. If you want to find me in Phoenix, Arizona, go to Anthem Harley Davidson. Well, it's a pretty rad bike, y'all, and uh, we've absolutely got horrible lights. So come over here so people can see what you look like. There you go. Now you can actually see how handsome the man is. Go give him some love. <laughs> y'all the bird's eye view from the Law Tigers VIP suite. It's pretty epic. From up here you can see it all man. This is absolutely the highest you can get on the entire building and uh, it gives you a really cool view of the races, although I will tell you, to be honest, you can't feel the speed up here like you do when you're down there trackside. Now this is definitely one of the benefits of VIP and with Law Tigers. It's amazing when you're at these events, you never really have time to go hunt out food, so when a company like this will set you up with something to eat, just to get something in your belly, run back out there and get back in the action, uh, it's very much appreciated. This is uh, open paddock, so basically everybody gets to go into the pits and get signatures from their favorite racers, but they only get 15 minutes, so uh, it's a hustle. This is pretty cool because everybody gets a chance to not only get their autographs with their favorite racers, but they also get a chance to uh, just see how they're, how they're working on the bikes, how they're tuning the bikes, how they're getting everything ready um, for what's going to be the big race. Let me explain to you how the races work. So the rules are this, there's basically three steps where you can be standing on that winner's podium. First, you've got the heats. The heats are the qualifying heats, if you will. Your time on that heat determines whether or not you make it into the semi. And then once you're in the semifinals, your times there determine whether you make it into the main. If you make it to that main, you have an opportunity to be standing on that podium. All right, guys, I am on a Rook bike by Rook Customs, and I'm actually gonna be entering, uh, leading out, or, or doing the parade for the American Flat Track as the official Grand Marshal. Uh, it's pretty neat. This will be my first time actually riding on the track, so wish me luck. I would like to introduce our Grand Marshal for the day, Mr. Adam Sandoval. Adam Sandoval from AdamSandovalRides.com, your awesome charity that you've done for the past two years riding across America with your dog Scooter, raising money for military and veterans causes. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's an absolute honor to be here. I mean, uh, American Flat Track, I mean, that's an American tradition and everything I try to do across this country is to support our, our military and, and America as a whole. So this is a, just a truly an honor. I'm, I'm very humbled. It's absolutely a pleasure to have you here. Just want to take a moment to point out to our fans here and at home that your charity ride that you did over the course of two years raised over three hundred thousand dollars for military and veterans charities congratulations that is outstanding absolutely it was an absolute honor to do it and i, I feel blessed that everybody helped me do it we raised that money as a community i was just the vehicle 
That's fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, ma'am. Speaking who? That's kind of a rush, man. About 8,000 people here for the race today. And uh, getting a ride down the actual flat track and uh, being honored in this way is uh, very touching. So American Flat Track and everybody in the world, thank you very much. And the races have officially started. Corey Texter's out there right now, um, along with a bunch of other really rad racers. Uh, we're gonna wish them luck, man, but watch how fast these boys are when they come flying by. If that don't get your blood going, I don't know what does. All right, so the next segment here for me, a little mini bike race. Uh, in between the next races, we're gonna take it around this little track here and see. I think your boy Adam is going to be on number, uh, yes, number four. We're taking these bikes here around that track and I've got some pretty fierce competition, I have to tell you. Meet the racers. Barry Caraway, CycleRides.com. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Boss Ross, Ramjet Racing, number five. Frank Stubbs, number two over there. Going for the win. Number two for Mr. Stubbs. Yes, sir. He's a ringer. They brought in a ringer. I'm just letting you guys know. Ari Levenbaum. Number three. Yeah, I don't I, I don't quite have the racing pedigree of uh, the Stubbs family, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best. starts today. It's on, it's on. All right, so we are on the infield and my boy Corey Texter made it to the main and he's currently in place sixth. This is it. 15 laps. Whoever comes in first stands on the podium. All right, here it is. They're coming down the final stretch. And Corey finished. He finished uh, fifth. He got fifth. Pretty good, man. Out of how many bikes? Uh, there's 18 in the main. Out of 18, he got fifth. Got Keep it up, buddy. And your winner for today's single class for the 2018 Arizona Mile, Law Tigers presented by Buddy Stubbs, Harley Davidson, Kevin Stalling. All right, guys, we are ready for the twins. I am still in the infield out here at American Flat Track. This is a wide array of bikes. I think, don't quote me on this, okay, because, you know, I'm still learning, but I think we got three uh, Harleys made it to the main, and I think six Indians made it to the main, a Ducati, a Kawasaki, I don't know, a couple other ones. So uh, it should be interesting to see how everything plays out. They've done their warm-up laps, and now they're starting to line up right now for the race. This is it, the big twins. We'll see how they do. What do you think, Tank? What number's gonna win? What number's gonna win? Number one? You think number one's gonna take it? All right, y'all, the prediction from Tank, the man right there at the Law Tigers, is number one. He's gonna take this race. We'll see. And old uh, Tank the Tiger was right. Jared Mees wins again on his Indian FTR 750. So third place, Henry Wiles, and second place, Brad the Bullet Baker. Well, that is it for the races, y'all. What a great time. I absolutely enjoyed it more than you can possibly imagine. And look, look what they gave me. I mean, I'm so honored. They gave me this beautiful, boom, plaque, Grand Marshal, 
Adam Sandoval, Arizona Mile. This is something I'm gonna cherish. Uh, what a great experience, what a fun race. I absolutely love Harley Davidson, the Harley Davidson culture, but you gotta give credit to people when they earn it, and them Indian boys crushed it today. All three places for the twins, all three Indian bikes. Them Indian boys are fast. Harley Davidson, we gotta come together, make some stuff happen, but uh, you know, a good man always gives credit where credit is due. So, Indian, congratulations on your wins today. Wins. Hey, it's flat track racing. I'm new to it, but I'm getting addicted fast. I love it. Until the next vlog, y'all remember, we are not quitters. Harley Davidson, we're not quitters. We are the Americans.